what's up you guys my name is mary i'm with high priestess intuition welcome my current subscribers and welcome 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 newbies if you guys are new to my channel leave and you enjoy my content if you ring the little bell by my soul tab i super duper appreciate you saying 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 this is um weekly reading for the sign of libra this could resonate with libra in any aspects of any of your charts sun moon rising venus north node behavior jupiter don't forget the basics time is fluid energy is fluid if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, this is weekly reading. Um, if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Haver, Jupiter. Just saying. Um, I got one message in as I was meditating on your weekly energy. Um, and the message is the hand of God. That is what I heard. For real, for real. Like, for real, for real. That's what I heard. The hand, the hand of God. Now, I Googled it. Because I've heard it before, but I didn't know what it meant. Now, there's a sports term for the hand of God for anyone that doesn't know that. I found that very interesting, but I'm not going to read that one on here. Because I don't think, uh, you take it how it resonates. It could uh, resonate sportsy for you if it does, but I don't think it does for some of you guys. So, the other uh, meaning of the hand of God, that is what I heard, like, seriously, is... Um, the hand represents divine approval. So, the hand of God, rep um, it signifies divine approval. So, approval from the divine, from the universe, from God, from spirit realm. Um, positive approval. Divine approval from the, um, the divine, basically. So, you take it how it resonates. Holy crap. Um, um, uh, you take it out resonates. Okay. Um, thanks everybody for all the likes, subscribes, and shares. You guys are just the bomb freaking diggity.com. I love you guys so freaking much. You know, I do it, do it, do it. Just saying. If you wouldn't mind sharing uh, the videos on your social media and spreading word of mouth, I'd really, really appreciate it. The channel's growing, but we want to continue it to grow. Just saying, just saying, saying. So, um, if you could, um, share the videos, I'd appreciate it channel's growing i went full time with this july 1st to let everybody know um i'm an rn in the 3d but i decided to take break for a little while um and pro i might retire i uh, possibly with um i uh, possibly might retire i don't know um i don't know if i'll go back or not but um i love nursing but i love doing this more so um possible retirement from nursing or maybe not but right now i'm taking a break and um I'm doing this full time and I started doing it July 1st. So, um, all likes, subscribes, and shares, and spreading word of mouth of my channel is very appreciated because I'm a single mom of two kids. So, all um, donations and all traffic flow into the uh, channel is very greatly appreciated. Just saying, thank you. Okay, so the hand of God. So, divine approval of some type. So, positive divine approval. So, divine. God, the universe, spirit realm, positively approving something. Now, whatever this is in your life, um, you take it how it resonates. The lovers upright, six of pentacles upright. Through many, 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 many series of chain of events, a very high vibrational Libra is about to meet their match. Love match. They're going to feel lots of connection with this person. Lots, lots, lots. They're going to want to give to this person in many ways. Wow, Libra. Holy shit. I feel passion in here. I feel passion. Like, it was like a wave of passion. Holy God. So, you take it how it resonates. Um, uh, I heard a Libra. So, a Libra, if this resonates with you. I heard through basically a ton of mini series of chain of events. So, it hadn't happened yet. It's going to um, run into their, I heard their match. Romantical. Romantical match. So, possible twin flame. Or, or not. Um, it could be a karmic, but hopefully it's not a scary-ass karmic. Just saying. 
Because you could be somebody's karmic and not cause them pain, misery, and suffering. I'm just throwing that out there if anybody um, needs to hear that. It's all on how you manifest yourself. If you're not a crazy psycho stalker, then you're not a crazy psycho stalker. And still be somebody's karmic. Just saying for all for real. If anybody needs to hear that. But um, I heard you're going to be very, um, you're going to want to give to this person. You haven't met them that yet, whoever this is. I didn't hear if it was a twin or a karmic. I didn't hear that part, so I don't know if it is. Um, but it is somebody you're going to be very, very, very romantically attracted to physically, um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. I'm, I'm presuming, I'm presuming you are. Um, it sounds a little twin flamey. I'm not even going to lie. It does sound a little twin flamey, but I didn't hear twin flame in here, so I can't confirm that. Um, but you would probably, you'll know that after you meet the person is what I'm presuming, you know, because you haven't met this person yet. Um, I heard through many uh, series of chain events. So it hasn't happened yet. But I heard you're going to want to give to them in many ways. And it is going to happen. But you need to take this relationship one step at a time. You know this person's been through a lot. Oh, well, there you go. Boom. Mic drop. Boom. Okay, I heard it's going to happen. But, um, so it's going to happen. So the relationship is going to happen. I heard from Spirit it is. So I'm assuming the other person is going to be very passionate towards you as well. I'm assuming you both will find each other very attractive physically, um, probably mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and um, sexually, obviously, because I felt a lot of passion up in here. It's like the flames are coming off. Just saying. Um, I heard it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But I also heard from Spirit, you need to take it one step at a time with this person because you know they've been through a lot. So they might have been through some kind of, um, in all seriousness, I'll calm down now. Um, They've probably been through some kind of traumatic experience, Libra, in all seriousness. They've been through some kind of traumatic experience. And so, you know, anyone that's been through a traumatic experience, especially when it comes to love or dating or romance or whatever, you can't just fire up in there. You can't just fire up in there like, oh, baby, let's take our clothes off right now. Oh, I mean, you can't do that. You have to take it one step at a time. I mean, because they, if they, whoever this is they've been through a traumatic experience so they're not going to want to just you know rip the clothes off and bang you all night long after 30 freaking seconds they're going to have to get to know your ass it's somebody you haven't met yet whoever this is um and you've got it's like a process because you have to take into account their feelings their past Maybe you've been through a traumatic experience. Maybe y'all can share those things. I mean, you have to plug in your life how it fits. I just, you, and you can take it or leave the advice. I'm just saying, um, I wouldn't just go in there, guns a blazing and penis or vagina a, a blazing. I would really take it, if you really care about this person, um, this Libra does. They do. Okay. Okay, I heard this sleeper does. So you do care. You do care about this person. But it sounds like it's somebody you hasn't met, haven't met yet. So maybe it's somebody, uh, maybe it's a friend of a friend and you've heard from them, uh, heard about them. Or maybe it's um, someone you see on social media. Um, maybe they do videos like this. Um, or a friend of a friend. Um, but it's somebody you know, but you've never met. So you take it out resonates. But um but I heard you do care. You do care. So, well, good. If you care, you would take it one step at a time because they've been through a traumatic experience in the love department here. So nobody with any right sense in their head is going to, you know, oh, baby, let's bang it all night long after 30 seconds of meeting. Just saying, just saying. Um, but I heard you're going to uh, want to give to them in several ways. And I heard it, that's going to happen. So the giving to them in several ways is going to happen. And one very huge financial way because of a job well done. Okay, I heard in one very huge financial way because of a job well done. So this person, whoever this is, I think you might be coming in professionally at first. I think you might be coming in professionally at first because they've, they've done some kind of job well done. And then it might turn romantical. That's exactly what I think um, for you, Libra. And you're the one coming in to this person. So you have lovers, lovers upright. So um I'm assuming when y'all meet, it will be an instant connection. Y'all will really hit it off. Probably good conversation flow and um, like each other aesthetically, you know, physically. Um, and then taking it one step at a time because they've been through a traumatic experience. 
and then six of pentacles upright i heard it that's going to happen so you're going to want to get with them in many ways i heard i heard that's going to happen but one huge large financial way because um because of a job well done so you take it how it resonates this is beautiful energy libra holy crap you go with your bad self just saying spirit messages you have for son libra Spirit messages you have to Libra. Wow, y'all, my cards are just maybe. Oh, good God, is there some chaos in a Libra's life? Because the cards are just flying freaking everywhere. I think there's chaos in a Libra's life. Spirit messages you have to Libra. Cracking the case is what I just heard. Cracking the case. Cracking the case. So you take it out, resonates, some kind of cracking the case energy. It could be you cracking the case or um, someone else cracking the case. Um, you take it out, resonates. Or you and another person cracking the case. You take it out, resonates. Three of cups reversed, nine of cups reversed. A Libra is about to find out about a death, overdose death, some alcohol poisoning. It's going to make them very, very, very sad. Some will go to the funeral. Oh my God, Libra, whoa, so you take it how it resonates. Whew, this is strong. Okay, so you take it how it resonates. I heard some of you guys, if this resonates with you, you're about to find out of someone ODing and some somebody is about to OD. It's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. But you're about to find out about somebody that has OD'd, so overdosed on drugs, and someone that has died of alcoholic uh, alcohol poisoning. Um, it could be one of those situations for you or both. You plug it in how it fits. Um, but I heard it's going to make you very sad. And probably a little depressed because um, a life, a life um, lost to drugs or alcohol. That's really sad. It's sad. Um, but um, I heard some of you guys. So you're going to learn of this news of this person that's either died from a, a drug overdose or alcohol poisoning. Um, I heard it's going to, you know, make you very sad, and and I get it. But some of you guys are going to attend the funeral. So you take it out. Resonates. So three of cups reverse is no party, no celebration. So you're not celebrating over this death because my God, no, there's no celebration over this, over somebody ODing or dying of alcohol poisoning. Absolutely not. And then um, nine of cups reverse is um, the death energy. Um, nine of cups upright is partying too much. It's partying too much. Woo! Drugs, alcohol, gambling, um, sex addictions, um, something hard and rough. Um, in this case, it's the ODing energy or the alcohol poisoning energy, but it took it too far. And then, so that's why it's reversed because it's, um, they passed, they're going to, sounds like they're about to pass away. Or for some, they might've already passed away. Um, you take it out, resonates. I heard for some of you guys, you're going to attend the funeral. Oh my God. <sighs> Spirit messages you have sign of Libra. Spirit messages you have sign of Libra. Upright is what I just heard. Upright. Number 30 might be very significant. Number 30.
A particular Libra is about to find out about a pregnancy soon. It's going to put a fire under their ass to, to speed up their current dealings employment wise. Okay, so you, you take it how it resonates. Um, I heard a particular Libra is about to find out about a pregnancy soon. And um, so it's not you that's pregnant in this case, Libra. It's somebody else. But you're about to find out about this pregnancy. And once you find out about it, it's going to uh, cause you to speed up your current employment dealings. So whatever employment sector you're in, um, whatever employment sector you're in, but it's going to cause you to speed up your employment dealings. So it's going to cause you to speed up whatever you're doing, working in your career. Um, I think this pregnancy affects it. It affects your career in some type of way. Um, for some, you could be government, governmental entity in your energy. I'm, I'm feeling because I'm pulling in. I've been pulling in. Um, I think somebody's about to expose the pedophile. Um, I think they're about to expose them. The pedophile's been um, knocking up kids. They've been knocking up kids. So for some, it could be that or it could be something else. Um, but however it resonates for you, whether you fall into that category or not, um, the some kind of pregnancy you're about to learn of, so not you, um, somebody you're connected to, um, it's connected to your employment in some type of way, and it's going to cause you to speed up your employment dealings in some type of way. So you take it out, resonate. So purity, um, that's the pregnancy energy. Innocence, purity of a child. So um, purity, um, pregnancy. You take it out, resonates. And one particular Libra is currently pregnant. They are pissed. Piss, piss, piss. And another Libra is about to find out they are about to be pregnant and they're about to be very happy. Okay. Whoa, so you take it out. Resonates a lot of pregnancy in here. Dear God. Okay, and I heard um, another Libra. So another Libra is about to find out they're pregnant. And I heard they're pissed. And I heard a lot of, I felt spiteful energy in that. Very spiteful. I heard they're pissed, pissed, pissed. So they are not happy they are pregnant. And another Libra is about to find out they're pregnant, but they're going to be very, very, very happy. So purity energy, a lot of pregnancy energy. Woo! Baby bump, baby bump. Just saying. Okay, we're done. Um, I don't do personal readings. Um, if you like, donate. Hi, Priestess Tarot 5, single mom with two kids. For real, for real, for real. Really appreciate all donations. And I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste.